Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to my video. In this video I'm going to be looking at Destruction Derby 2 on the PlayStation 1. Now I'm actually running this on a PlayStation 2 Slim because I don't have a PlayStation 1 at the moment currently. But yeah, this is a uh, Destruction Derby 2 and let's have a look at this one. So you've got your options, you can choose whatever you want to do. Let's have a look at Chalk Canyon. This is actually my favourite track of the game and you'll see why in a minute. So, on first impression, the graphics look really detailed, really nice. They are really, really good for the game of this era. Two, one, go. So, so, yeah, the game is very fast. It's very fluid, very fast. It uses uh, the older style way of making games look fast on a, a 30 whatever MH said console. And yeah, it really looks good. You only have to get close up to walls and the scenery to, to appreciate the block in this, but generally it looks really good. If I jump up, and as you can see on this one, it had loads of jumps and shit. Oh shit! The graphics are nice, really detailed, really colourful. Really, uh, really show what the PlayStation 1 really can do if it's pushed kind of like to its limits. If you remember Destruction Derby 1, you remember that everything was flat. There was no hills or uh, jumps and look. Look at that. Oh, ouch. So this is another stage right now and you can see the detail has gone really into this game. The trees are sprites. The trees rotate as you rotate. So that, that's quite common on the 32-bit machines and the uh, audience is not great. But yeah, this is a really polished game. I love this bit. Here we go. Woohoo! Ouch. That's good. I don't think uh, health and safety laws apply to this game um, when it comes to driving uh, cars around the racetrack. Let's have a look. It's really fun. I, I really do like this one. Okay, this is the total destruction mode. We had the total destruction mode and destruction that we won. And Whoa! Holy shit, here we go. You can see that the game can handle all these cars on the screen at the same time and all this damage and stuff and it, the PlayStation really copes with it. It's really, uh, really quite good the way that it can handle all this stuff going on. Uh, the game even supports a replay feature from an alternate view so you can watch it at your leisure. Really polished, really good, really good graphics, really good uh, way of doing things that Psychonosis did. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this one and yeah. You can see the odd artifact and stuff and like lines in the 3D as I call them but yeah this is a really really good game. I am really impressed. Let's have another go at that because it's really fun. You'll see what I mean if you play the game. It's really fun. Unfortunately it doesn't support analog controls but I think it was made before the dual shot controller was. And here we go again. Oh my good good. I don't, like I said before, I don't think uh, health and safety uh, applies to this raceway. <laughs> I don't think I'll be watching a, a real life raceway and all this goes on. Well if I am, whoa, here we go. Yeah, look at that. So yes, uh, Destruction Derby 2, I'm, it's only a short video and I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Absolutely superb. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.